Moving on to our final topic of the day, my man. There hasn't really been a whole lot of really big, substantial news that we just have to cover, you know? Yeah. You just you gotta cover. But, you know, there's a little game called Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard about this game. I have heard about it. It's a very important game, right? Yeah, it is. Especially to me. Very important game to me. In fact, it's my favorite video game of all time because it's the greatest video game of all time. It's not, but no, it's it very is. good. It is. It's it's undeniably undeniably is undeniably a strong word. In phenomenal. Fact, I don't think undeniably even can uh, objectively apply here, Tevin. Undeniably, one of the greatest of all time. Sure, I'll, I'll get I'll get to that. One. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. It's the goat, though. Everybody knows. No, uh, everybody. Anyway, so there like, have most been a, don't, don't a bunch of Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. Of course, that is the remake of of. MGS3. Uh, previews. Really? Yeah. Some previews have gone live today, Connor. Uh, so the, the feed was ignited with a bunch of Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta Snake Eater uh, 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 opinions. You know, all these gaming journalists came with a bunch of new information. So uh, Shinobi602 on Twitter uh, did a pretty good job of summarizing pretty much what everybody was saying. There were a couple of examples of much more wordy, wordier articles of, of, of talking about all these things. I thought Shinobi's little tweet here that he put out is fine. So I'm pulling Shinobi's Twitter here. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater hands-on previews. This is in bullet points, so stick with me here. Development is a mix of new talent and original MGS3 veterans. Uh, point stays true to the original game. Reverence for the original work, looking to be the remake fans have wanted for years. We'll have a fidelity mode at 30 FPS and a performance mode at 60 FPS. Quality of life updates are useful and not overbearing. Uh, revamped controls with traditional options. You can play it as a traditional modern over-the-shoulder uh, third-person shooter or with classic MGS3 controls. I'll be doing both. I know you will. Uh, new controls, quote, create a satisfying illusion of how I remembered MGS3 controlled, even though it wasn't. The transition felt natural, smooth, and fun. Modernized menu design with variety of accessibility options. Tweak how you ready your weapon slash equipment. Toggle uh, or hold down a button when grabbing enemies. Adjust color correction, uh, center, dot, display, etc. A lot of praise for the visuals runs in Unreal 5. Uh, you can, quote, use the camera during a real-time cutscene to zoom close enough to see uh, pores on Snake's skin. More ambient wildlife. Uh, uh, the zooming in thing that was in the original game, but it was just kind of a weird thing that you could do. Um, all characters look fantastic and true to their original designs. No real load times in the game, though the team wanted to keep the pacing of the original, so there's still the fade to black when transitioning to new areas. Uh, some previews, previews, previewers wish it did more in freshening up the experience instead of zoning off areas like the original where you could easily... Uh, escape and reset everything, having everything being continuous could have made for something more engaging. Uh, doesn't reinvent the MGS3 experience. Quote, personally has not been, sac uh, I'm sorry. Quote, personality has not been sacrificed in the pursuit of realism. Snakes still only climbs the same ivory covered trees. Snakes still get packed into to-go boxes when killed. Guards flail and run when shooting down the beehive. Uh, you'll still don a Raiden mask if you choose I like MGS2 at the start of the mission, etc. New addition slash changes. Snake's initial bag of gear now provides a compass and an uh, and objective indicator. Rolling has a dedicated button triangle. You can now dive to the ground for uh, from a standing position. The team worked hard on making sure new models' assets blended in and moved, breathed, reacted as similar as possible to the original. Wounds on Snake will appear on his body throughout the game as he gets hurt, which will notably, noticeably affect him if not treated. Camo Index System returns with further enhancements. Snake can also roll around in dirt, mud, etc. and get convincingly covered in it. Improved his camouflage. That's cool. Uh, previewers tested... Tested it, quote, his entire face and body became dripping wet brown, uh, his hair sludgy and slicked, and his camo index maxed out, rendering him practically invincible to nearby crocodiles. And, most interestingly, 
Release date revealed later this year, likely at Tokyo Game Show. And then through uh, some screenshots that you can find for yourself, we uh, they they've they've kind of put the camouflage menu and the codec menu on hotkeys. So my understanding is pressing up on the D-pad will open up your camouflage menu, and you can quicker you, you can be quicker in in changing your camos out, which is cool because that's a that is a complaint of the original one is having to open up the menus. Uh, you gotta like press like four or five buttons to get to where you need to be. Um, so this is much quicker, much faster, which is cool. Uh, and then pressing down on the D-pad, I believe, gives, gets you to uh, the codec. So you can talk to your people, you can save the game, you can uh, listen to the healing radio, et cetera, et cetera. That's cool. Glad that's there. I like the I like the UI for the codec. That looks cool. I like how that looks. Um, some really nerdy, nerdy, nerdy. Th- oh, and then left and right on the D-pad are how you switch out your... Um, uh, what you're holding in your hands. So, you know, you press right to change your weapon. You press left to change the item in your mm-hmm. hands, um, like uh, binoculars or or whatever. Uh, or maybe you hold it and it brings up the menu, as opposed to using the bump or uh, the bumpers slash triggers uh, from the original game. Uh, just kind of moving things on so that, you know, aiming and shooting are back on the triggers now. Um, cool. I'm into all that. Yeah. Uh, some slight UI differences. The uh, health and stamina bar and the codex indicator have moved to the bottom middle of the screen as opposed to being in the top left and right, respectively. Um, I get that, but I also don't get that. I, I, I understand it's so that, like, you like the, the rest of the screen looks clear, cleaner, and so you can see more in the environment, and it's not, like, bogged down with all of these different... UI elements uh, and just all the UI is stuck to the bottom of the screen, but like weird, right? Or not, I, no, not necessary. I, I might be when you start actually getting in motion and seeing all of the things that the game throws at you, things that appear on screen, other menus. I guess it could make a lot more sense. Maybe, like but like filter. it's like it's it's the same game. Like they just remade the game again. It's the exact same game. Yeah, but it doesn't. Does it really like definitively say that about the UI? Because I mean, the UI's changed. Even if most of the other I guess things I, are I guess I do kind of when I look at this this image with the codec uh, mm-hmm. pulled up and how much space on screen the codec plays, and it doesn't look like that's paused the game like it used to. Yeah, uh, it looks like it's still active in that way. Um, so that also makes me hope that I can call and then close the menu and yeah. just talk and conversate with with uh, people on the go or have them talk to me on the go. That would be kind of cool. Um, uh, as long as it doesn't like interfere with mm. other audio coming like, in, like being sneaky, like and oh. the snake goes, "Well, you know, I never saw the movie Godzilla paramedic," and then mm. the guy goes, "Who? What was that?" Like <laughs> type thing. Um, but yeah, okay. So as a fan, I hear this and I am excited by this. This is this does sound like everything me as a fan would want. There is a part of me though that does wish they took a little bit more liberty with the game. I do wish they went a little bit further. Like, I don't think we needed to zone off every area. I think it would have been fine if we just built out those environments to bleed into each other naturally. The game kind of does that anyway. Like, there's very few screens that you leave and exit, and, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I was here, and now I'm in a new environment type shit. Like, like they all bleed together very well. So I don't understand why we didn't just kind of flush that out. Uh, a little bit more and play in between those things. Um, I I don't love that all the enemy placements are in the exact same place. I don't love that that you know like it's all these like things like and then they've also like improved the gameplay to make it a little crisper, a little feel a little bit better, but it's still the same gameplay. Um, I hope the enemy AI is a little smarter than they are in the original game. Um, not that they're dumb in the original game, not like how they are in the first game, right? Like they're smarter yeah. than. There, there was advancement in AI from Metal Gear Solid 1 to 3. So, like, those guys are smarter. Um, but if I can have as much new control as I think I'm going to with things like crouch walking, with things like uh, uh, diving from standing still and, and and all of these new moves that you're giving Snake, um, or you're making them easier to do moves. So, like, for example, you could hang from one... You could hang from a branch with one arm and then still aim your gun, but you had to like hold three different buttons to mm-hmm. do that, right? You're not gonna, in in the remake here. It sounds like you're just gonna hold the triggers, and and like that's all you need to do. I don't know, you know, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm of a lot of different minds of it. It really does seem like the main problem is like same enemy placements 
for people that know it well, which shake many people do by now. Yeah, you, you know? can shake it up. You know, that's kind of like what you would think they do to make it a new experience. Yeah. But it really does seem like they're too focused on trying to be just you know, loyal to what Metal Gear Solid 3 was. So what I'm hoping here, Connor, is when you first load up Metal Gear Solid 3, right, it gives you the option uh, to mm. say, uh, to pick what your favorite Metal Gear Solid experience is. I like MGS1, I like MGS2. In later versions of the game, the Substance version, which had the better camera and stuff like that, you could say, I like MGS3. And, and in selecting those things, you got different starting items. Uh, if you said you like MGS3, you got a bunch of extra camo and a bunch of extra face paint and stuff like that. I'm curious, Connor, if they give you that option again, if you pick I like MGS3 as your favorite Metal Gear experience, they then know as the developers, oh, you've played the shit out of this game. You know what's in store for you. What if, Connor, not obviously not the exact same way, but in some creative way, they find a way to totally turn the experience up uh, upside down on its head a la the resident evil remake with the crimson heads mm. you know what if there's something they're hiding a, a hidden mechanic that we don't know about yet that they've inserted into this delta remake and maybe maybe uh it's not if you pick one or two or this is my first time playing metal gear you just get you just get snake eater that's mm. what you get snake eater how it was intended but if you pick i like mgs3 what if Connor boss fights show up in different orders, or or uh, 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 enemies uh, are equipped with different weapons, or there's a little like a randomizer inside the game or something like that to to kind of just completely freshen it up and change? Because like even item placements are in the exact same spots. So I know where the shotgun is. I know where the machine guns are. I know where all the ammo and and things like that are. C fours and stuff like that. I know where I know uh, when entering. Um, when entering the dock building, the building with the dock, and they have that cutscene where uh, Vulcan electrocutes Eva, uh, and and uh, 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 the doctor pees himself. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You enter that. The first thing you see if you if you jump down the stairs uh, uh, and hang a left, there's a frog in the corner, right? Like I know all of that so well. Like that's how well I know Snake Eater is. I know where the animals are. I know to get the uh, Tanuki to 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 Tessanuki snake or whatever the like mythical Tsujinoko. Sijinoko, thank you, Snake. Uh, 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 you have to you have to enter and exit th that building like six times and put mouse traps in the field outside. Like I mm. know these things. So can you have a hidden mechanic in there that says, "Listen, if you want Snake Eater in its full existence, it's here." Right? We're not we, we we're we're not playing with y'all. We know Kojima fans real upset. We know we're on thin ice. We know you guys just want an updated version of Metal Gear Solid Three. That's what we're giving you. But if you pick this one little option over here, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. You know. You know, Tavin, that sounds incredibly hopeful. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what if it did? That would be so cool. Yeah, but it does seem like they really are just dead set on recreating what was Metal Gear Solid Three and. There's a lot of strengths to that, as you kind of pointed out. Uh, I keep comparing every single time I see Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta stuff happen, I think of Silent Hill 2, which the fan reception to that has been you know, worrisome about what exactly they're changing. And there's been new gameplay clips. I heard, I heard the fandoms coming around. See, I saw there's a trailer, a character like story trailer, yeah. did a lot better than anything this game has done at any point in time before in any of its previews. I think it's just bad marketing. It might have been. It really might have been, but this is all marketing. It's all we got right now with yeah. both this and Metal Gear. And so, you know. I think the marketing good, for Delta Snake Eater has been great. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah it has The marketing's been. been really fucking good. And when those, both those games come out, especially because they're so beloved, uh, you can see kind of what model works best. Even if you're not going to like ultimately say, in the future, games should follow this standard. That'd be kind of lame if there was just one way you know, remakes would be done from here on out about those older kind of like 2000s games. Um, which I, I just think it's interesting to contrast the two, and I'll be I'll be excited to do that when Metal Gear comes out. Of course, by that point, Silent Hill will already. Well, be now that now well not well that's the con that's the question, Connor. Mm -hmm. Tokyo when Game Show supposedly is where they're giving us a release date for Delta Snake Eater. It's definitely if we're doing previews and we're hands on previews, we're letting the press play them. They played the Virtuous Mission. I didn't say that at the top. They're playing the which is the first like ninety minutes of the game. Tokyo Game Show. That's next month. September 26th to the 30th. 
Do we get the release date? Is it this year? Uh, yeah, we get the release date. It's not this year. No, no, no. They would have already tried. What are you thinking? Think it's January, February, March. Hope not January. Maybe even April. April seems like a long time away to have previews out this early. Yeah, you know, we're we're in month eight of twelve. You know, mm-hmm. so even if it's in January, that's four months separated between previews. Yeah, it's a long time. Yeah, it is. You know, all I'll know, Tavin, is that chances are I won't be playing that much. You can though. I'm saying that because, based on a deal we had, <laughs> three, the original, is getting played in the yes. near future. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, January. So yeah, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't Ideally, come out in January. Yeah. You don't, if you don't fuck me. You know I'm not. Or if the wheel, maybe even earlier, if the wheel blesses us. That'd be crazy. Hail the wheel. Hey, Dark Souls quicker. Hail the wheel. You know? Yeah. Hail, all hail the wheel. Anyways, 